With the advent of 5G, we have reached record-breaking speeds with the internet. It is now literally faster to reach something which is on a remote cloud server than to access the same file in your built-in storage. It's crazy, isn't it? So when this kind of a speed is going to be accessible to all of us in the palm of our hand, it makes all the sense in the world to monetize more cloud-based solutions. I mean, why would you have a 128, 256 or 512 GB of local storage when you can have the same with just a click of a button which is stored in a personal cloud that could be shared between multiple devices easily? I mean, the reliability of cloud has reached to a point where it has convinced me to enable auto-sync in my devices, which I usually never do. I always keep a local backup in my hard drive, which I still do, but the convenience of being able to log in anywhere and access my files has convinced me that this is the way forward. Microsoft has already cemented this idea with their Office 365 suite and now their operating system also joins in. They're launching a new Windows 365 service that will allow you to have a cloud-based PC which you can stream to any device. Microsoft has always had a strong hold on cloud-based technology with platforms like Azure. They've even built a cloud gaming service called xCloud which is now simply called Xbox Cloud Gaming primarily using Azure. So they know what they're doing and they can very well pull this off. The idea behind this virtual desktop is that it's easy to scale for whether a small or a large business. The only problem as of now is that it's a subscription based service and the subscription as of now is $31 for a single user each month. And for that price subscription you're just getting a PC with 4GB of RAM, 128GB of storage and 2 CPUs. And it doesn't seem to be a performance based service where you're built based on your usage, something like the Amazon Web Services offer. Of course this is a full computer running in this space and not just some storage space. Microsoft describes this entry-level PC is best for short-term seasonal use. And yeah, that makes sense. Like if you want a computer for your business for like 6 months time and you don't want to really buy something or rent something out, and given the modern day nature of working from home, this makes a lot more sense. But for anyone who wants a workstation for several years, even if it is for temporary sake, it's better to buy a rental or even a cheap little laptop. But regardless of the price, the application is still pretty cool to behold. Imagine being able to seamlessly use your computer on your phone screen. So you won't ever have to carry a bulky laptop or any machine with you. Just have a solid internet connection and you can even work on desktop class applications like Premiere Pro or After Effects simply by running them on your computer that you've hosted at Windows 365. That's pretty cool. But again, it makes most sense for a bunch of people at a company who are sharing a computer rather than just one person at this point. Anyways, what are your thoughts on Windows 365? Do you think cloud-based PC will take off anytime soon? Let me know your thoughts and subscribe for more videos like this. I'll see you in the comments. Cheers.